In today's video, we're opening an unseen vintage Yu-Gi-Oh product. What's up, guys? We're back with another vintage third-party, not a blister this time. It's just a product, like it just has stuff in it. This we picked up in a recent collection video. If you guys missed it, you can go check that out, see what else we got in the video. This is not sealed, which what we realized in that uh, in that video. But I think that these four of five packs are still in there, and they're the original packs from the repackaged product. I mean, it's a repackaged product, so it's not like a huge deal if it, they're not the originals or whatever, because you know they were taken from a real product and put into this product to begin with. But it'll still be a fun opening because these are European packs which will be interesting to see but before we actually get into that we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three gx supers deck devastation virus wing karibo and king dragon just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you think about this third party Yu-Gi-Oh product it's definitely unique from the other ones i've seen and that's the cool part about these they're always so different it's fun but four packs would not be a video i mean this is five minus the one but you know four packs wouldn't be a video so i grabbed a bunch of random stuff and there's some old school stuff i grabbed in this little stack right here and then some other sets that i like from recent sets as well so let's just go through those as we go through the video so you guys have something to watch today that's not four minutes long here we go we have king's court right off the bat because i have a few packs of king's court laying around not many left Number C39, but there's some cor some cards I'd love to pull, such as the guide cards. Uh, the Arcana Knight Joker, Arcana Extra Joker, and a Rose Princess. So starting it off with just the Super, which is not too crazy, but that's okay. we got a lot of chances left. Hopefully pull something crazy today. I feel like I've had pretty good luck recently just pulling good cards, so I'm hoping that can continue. I would love to have great luck. We could upgrade pretty good to great. I wouldn't be mad. We're going to do Maze of Millennia. I still have some of these packs laying around because the most recent set... And the, you know, the, what do they call the bonfire? I was about to say the firefly. That's not what they're called. Uh, is crazy expensive. So if we could get some of those. Or we can just get the same ultra that we get all the time. Uh, the photon delta ring. It's an ultra, but that's like one of the worst ones. That's okay though. We got some more chances. Battles of Chaos. At one point, I, I bought like two or three extra cases of Battles of Chaos. So that's why I have so much of it. But it's such a fun set to have. that I feel like it's not going to, you know, it's pretty fun. Like if we're going to have to open Battles of Chaos for, you know, a few months, then... I think people wouldn't be too mad about that because there's potential at the Dark Magician, potential at the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, and we did not get it there, but some good Starlights in here, which unfortunately the Starlights, you know, these days are kind of getting waxed, but it was still pretty cool cards to pull in the original print. Rarity Collection obviously is a banger, so we're going to open a few of these. I think we have like three of them. I mean, the QCRs obviously is what we want. No, we're going to do the one card pack trick, so you get both supers at the beginning. So you get Ancient Fairy Dragon, we got the Forbidden Droplet, pretty good supers to start. Uh, win the Wind Chandler, we have Pot of Prosperity. Okay, good stuff. And the Dogmatica Punishment. Very nice. So, not too bad when you open Rarity Collection. I got some old school stuff. We're going to maybe save that toward the end. We've got uh, Champion Pack 2 to open up today. Magician of Faith, baby. $500 card. Well, or last I... I mean, it's been a while since I've checked. So, last I checked might not be super recent. Uh, we have Jin the Diamond Tiger. We have Card Scanner. Angelica's Angelic Ring. We have UFO Light. Stars Align about the Shrine. We have a Scapegoat. Disturg Discordance of the Tistina. Okay. Earthbound Servant. And Supreme King Gate Magician. And speaking of new sets, by the way, which I know it's been a while since I was talking about Maze of Millennia. That was a few minutes ago. But there's a new set coming out. Phantom Nightmare. I believe this week at the time you're seeing this. Or maybe it's like, you know, Saturday and you're seeing, you know, whatever. You know, it's very close. And I have a link down below. 5% off. If you guys want to check that out. Phantom Nightmare will be coming out. You can grab some boxes there from Sassy Auto. It supports the channel if you do that. Arcana Force 15. So go give him a look. He's a great seller. He's a friend of mine. Also, we will be doing a Phantom Nightmare Whatnot stream this week. I think it's Friday it's scheduled for. You can check down below. Click my link. Get $15 free if you've never been on Whatnot. Uh, you can use it on whatever you want. Credit on my, my stuff, their stuff. You know, by they, I mean any other person. The last stream we did was super fun. Uh, I think we did... Uh, we've done two so far recently. And then, of course, the last year, end of last year, we did the crazy one where we opened all the original 11 booster boxes in first ed. That was super fun. So if you guys want to go give me a follow over there, if you haven't already, you don't have to spend any money to uh, actually sign up or watch, but you can and you will get $15 free if you want to use that. Okay. Oh, I have four rarity collection. It looks like that's nice. All right, let's try another one. See if we can get a QCR today. Oh, wrong way. That, that would put the QCR to the front. We have Pot of Desires. We have Reasoning. Dogmatic Punishment, that is not a QCR. Herald of the Arc Light and Pot of Extravagance. So a lot of pot, not a lot of pull though. Okay, let's see. King's Court. So far, uh, Pot of Prosperity is like our best card in Ultra. So that's probably a two or three dollar card out of Rarity Collection. Maybe a little bit more. No pack trick here. We have ZW. I had to look for a second. Cloud Castle. We have Converging Wishes. Risky Rabbit. We have Arcana Extra Joker. Castellar told me. And uh, Chow Fang. Phantom of the Yang Zang. 
Good stuff has been has been pulled before. Not necessarily today, really, but maybe we will right here. Uh, what pack is this? Maze of Millennia? Okay, we have Earthbound. Earthbound! Earthbound line walking this. Three straight Earthbounds. Combat wheel. Flame Swords Realm. Very cool Flame Swordsman card. Remember when we pulled it? Remember the live stream? Go check out the live stream if you didn't see it when we opened a bunch of Maze of Millennia. We will still be doing that for Phantom Nightmare. I actually don't know what card we're searching for just yet because I don't know the set contents while I'm recording this, so... Hopefully there's a cool card we can chase after. That'll be super fun. So I'm excited to do another big stream, a couple whatnot stream, and then of course our normal large stream. We have Artifact Lancia and Tribegate. We have not gotten a high rarity card out of rarity collection yet. Just hard to do because they come up pretty often. All right, let's do a Legacy of Darkness. We've had good luck with Legacy of Darkness recently. Original 2003 print right here. All right, one, two, three, four. We have Hunter with seven weapons. We have Lizard Soldier. Disappear, Puppet Magic Dark Ruler, we have Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, Super Robo Lady, Troop Dragon, Fangshi Mirror, and the After Genocide, now known as After the Struggle. If they ever reprinted it, that's what it would say, but it's LOD. I don't think it's ever going to get reprinted, to be honest. Okay, let's try Last Maze of Millennium. See if we can get a bonfire. They seem to be clumped uh, when I was opening them previously. We have a lot of cases. We probably have about four and a half cases, something like that. With Bound Servant, we have Emergency over the course of all our videos. That's a Ruxin special, right? To the, the Raccoon! Age of Overlord. Here we go. The Overlords have aged. All right. We have the Fallen of Tistina. Ogdoidic Date Break. We have Snake Eyes. Origami Goddess. Pendulum Evolution. Escape Goat. We have Cursed Bride. Asset and Happy Guidance of Horus. Okay. He's happy. We're not. Battles of Chaos. First edition, I might add. Might have to add that. One, two, three, four. Did a little head thing there. I don't know what I was doing. I was like throwing the pack away and I was just like going in rhythm with it. The <laughs> Agent of Destruction, Doll Monster, Miss Mason. Alert. Neroy. We have Branded Disciple. Ghostrick Siren. And. Oh, the Master of Chaos. That's a pretty cool card. I wish this guy had gotten a Starlight. That would have been really cool. Starlight Master of Chaos would have been good. Very cool. Dark Magician plus one Chaos or Blacklister Soldier Ritual Monster. Very cool fusion. That's awesome. Not super valuable, I don't think, anymore. I think it does have a reprint in Megaton, maybe. Probably Megaton. Probably Megaton 2022. Could be 2023. I'm not really sure. All right, QCR. We need something high rarity here. We have Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor Photon. We got Magic Slice Fusion. That's not good, Supers. Okay, we got a Platinum Rare. We keep pulling the Platinum Rare. Small World, okay. Magicalized Fusion, like an Ultra, and then Ghost Bell. Okay, Ghost Bell's decent. Not great pulls out of Rarity today, but that's okay. We have a original, an original, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Can we get some big, like a Gemini Elf, please? Or Magic Cylinder, I'd take either one. Let's take a Dark Necrofear. I mean, I like all that stuff. Dark Necrofear is good. Curse of the Mass Beast, or Mass Beast, not Curse of the Mass Beast. That's a common. We have Aqua Spirit. I'd take both, though, if we got the Curse and the Mass Beast. Spirit Elimination, we got Skull Lair. Cyclone Laser, Portrait Secret, The Dark Door, Dream Sprite, Earthbound Spirit, and the Tornado Bird. The bird has a tornado. He's not a foil, though. That's okay. If we really wanted a foil, this would be the spot to get one. Because there's only, how many supers in these? Four, three? There's one Ultra, which is like one in 48 on Champion Pack. The supers are one in... Why can't I remember this? One in 18, maybe? Wait, does this say on the back? It's been a while since we've been done champion packs, so. Yeah, four rare cards, four supers, one in 12. Yeah, I was like, one in 18 sounds hard. One in 12, I think there are three different supers, if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I think it's three supers, one ultra, and then it's rares and commons and stuff. So, I don't know exactly where the foil pops up here, if it's at the front or not. We're going to open it like this. Very small chance that you get an unweighed one of these, unless you open like a full box, which are very hard to find these days. And they've always been kind of hard to find because they're basically tournament packs. And back then, you know, they were all open to basically. Okay. All right. So no spoilers there. Just in case this is the foil or rare. I think it's guaranteed rare in champion pack. Uh, Thunder Dragon. Last time we opened one, it was bent. That's nice. So it's actually a decent... Unbent card. We got Book of Tayo. I think this is the same pack as last time. Let's see if we get the same rare. Here we go. Okay, Magical Dimension. That's different. So, we got a different card. I don't remember exactly. I think our rare was something good last time, I feel like. It might have been Wing Karibo. Okay, so, uh, cool pack. 2008 tournament pack. Let's see what we can get out of these five plus extra deck. But we get a deck box. So, this is already open, as I said. But, as I'll show you guys, you pull this out. And this part comes out, so we got a little deck box action here. Let's look at this. Seems like a pretty nice deck box, actually, for 
whenever this was made. All right, time out. Let's, let's check a little bit more about this product before we keep going. We have TCF and Games. Package distributed this. I've never heard of that one. I'm running out of room here. Let's see if I can back this up a little bit. Uh, five Flags plus Extra Deck March. Trading Round Logos and Titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TCF Games. Um, Kaiba. Not a lot of info on this thing, to be honest. Okay, and the rest of this thing looks like... So, yeah, as you can see, these are glued on there. So, I think they've been there since they were originally put in. This is a first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare European. So, it's going to be kind of cool because I haven't opened a lot of European packs before. If this was first at Spell Ruler, this would be pretty cool because, you know, that's the big hype set because it's super rare. The thing is, I've heard First Dead Labyrinth of Nightmare is also really hard to come by. So it's pretty cool that we get that. It's just not as well known because, you know, it doesn't have a different name. Because, like, for us, it's easy to differentiate First Dead Spell Ruler because we have don't have First Dead Spell Ruler. We just have regular Spell Ruler or First Dead Magic Ruler. So it's like, oh, wow, I've never seen that. Labyrinth of Nightmare, we have First Dead Labyrinth of Nightmare. So it's not, like, a big deal. But I think it's pretty rare to get those. All right, so we'll end with that one, of course. Let's do it. We got two Metal Raiders, too. So we can get a Euro First Ed Pequeno. That'd be pretty nice. Let's start with the spell ruler they have these big old crimps which are pretty cool actually very vintage let's see what we can pull here and see if we can get something awesome the giant crimps are actually pretty fun they're very easy to open actually i really like that very easy to open without damaging the pack all right one well, i don't know if there's a pack trick i'm gonna do four let's just try it we have a uh, kotodama we have the fusionist these definitely feel different see look fusionist Pretty cool because in our... Wait, these have MRL still. I didn't actually know that. In our set, they this was an LOB. It's an LOB rare. In their set, they actually have Flame Swordsman and Pot of Greed. In, is it Pot of Greed? I think it's Pot of Greed. Uh, so if we get that, it'd be pretty cool. We have Warrior number two, another LOB card. There's like 17 cards that were in LOB that are in their Spell Ruler slash Magic Ruler. Dark Zebra, we have Weather Report. So another cool reason to open this. Slot Machine. We have Twin Long Rods. These are actual MRL cards. We have Electric Snake. And... No! A Serpent Night Dragon! European Secret from Spell Ruler that says MRL-E. So it still has MRL in the name. That is insane. Okay, that is amazing. We got a Secret Rare Serpent Knight. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, I wasn't expecting to pull a secret right off the bat. That's that's pretty nice. All right, we've got uh, we've got MRD here. I'd love to pull a secret out of this European. I actually think I have pulled a Gate Guardian at Euro. It was not 2002 or 2003, whenever they got it. It was uh, it was like out of a mystery box. I got a 2017 Euro pack or something like that. Maybe it was 2010. I don't know. Uh, and then pulled a European Gate Guardian, which was pretty cool. So I did the pack trick right. We have German Faction. I think Metal Raiders is the same set composition, unlike Spell Ruler. We have Genzo number seven, Skull Knight. I don't know why that one set was messed up. We have Blue Wing Crown. These all look like MRD to me. Armored Zombie with that big old armor. Occupying. Can we get a Kenyo, please? That'd be amazing. Share the pain. Not in this pack. Oh. Oh, we can! The MRD Euro Pequeno Mod. These are these European packs. I'm starting to like this. All right, last card. Okay, Mask of Darkness, but we got the card we wanted. A European Petite Moth. That is really cool. Maybe if I could get a first ed, maybe I could grade a first ed European one. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, this is a pretty sick European opening we got here. Maybe sometime I'll have to get some more European packs. We're having some good luck. Uh, This one is... Oh, it's a, it's a huge crimp. That's why I couldn't get it. It's like the size of the pack. Slowly but surely open this thing up. Metal Raiders. What are you going to bless us with? Can you bless us with another Pequeno? Can you bless us with... Lady de Fe, something like that. We have the Punished Eagle. Seven colored fish, including the lips. Gigatech Wolf. Launcher Spider. Kaminari Attack. Used to be money. We have Stim Pack. Very scary, but also pretty cool card. Morinfin. Leo Gun. Okay. The, t the, I was going to say Tiger. The Lion. And the witch of the black forest one of the best rares big old chip on the side of it unfortunately but very very cool we got a secret serpent night we're just playing with house money at this point first ed though first ed lover of the nightmare euro i'm down to pull something crazy these are not easy to come by i've never actually opened a first ed lover of the nightmare uh, from europe so that's pretty cool let's see i'd love gemini elf i'd love magic cylinder i would love to pull uh, the Dark Necro Fear would probably be one of the top ones. We have the Last Warrior from Another Planet is a favorite of mine. Mass Beast. There's a lot of great cards you can pull. A Revival Jam is obviously amazing. So if we could get that, it's a super only. So it'd be the easiest one to pull out of those. All right, we have Supply. Let's see if we can get First Edition Lightning Gonger. Spirit of Flamas. The Rock Spirit. 
Amazon Archer. Crimson Sentry. These have very similar vibes to them. You know what I'm saying? Very similar. Might be related. We have the Lady Assailant of Flames. Fire Sorcerer. And finally, one more card. Please be a foil. Let's go. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Here we go. Oh, the Density Board! Ultra Rare! Last pack! Let's go! F is for final! That is so cool. So we didn't get the L, which is great. The L is always pretty rough. L's in the chat. F's in the chat is also usually a bad thing. In this case, it's a good thing. Destiny board, that is amazing. All right, European packs like us. I think that is for sure at this point. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.